Well, good afternoon. Our story here starts with the Seahawks. Doesn't everything start with the Seahawks? Uh, Medical Lake Middle School, in our school improvement coach, Dr. Janine Butler, had an epiphany while reading her Sunday paper. What would this type of dashboard and data analysis look like for schools? We have our team led by our quarterback, principal, Sylvia Campbell, supported by our coach. And as you know, no games are won without the rest of the team, the lines, the safeties, the receivers. They are the heart of our team, our teachers. So after much contemplation, our court coach captured Medical Lake Middle School's work and developed their game day analysis dashboard. And it, it reflects the seven school and uh, success principles, strong leadership, effective teachers, additional time, rigorous and research. With the seven principles, though, it begins with leadership. For teachers and administrators alike, leadership is the key to ensuring effective instructional practices that lead to academic excellence and that they become the norm versus the exception. We'll talk about small schools. We have uh, one middle school, and it's approximately 400 students. And about three years ago, we went into the dreaded focus, but it was really a blessing in disguise. Um, when it was our special ed population that, that put us in uh, focus, and actually we did, but uh, we went and recruited the best coach that we could get, and it was Dr. Janine Butler, and without her help and support, we couldn't have done as much as we've done. Um, we too were in the um, pilot program for uh, TPEP, and at that time, it was like 2012, I believe, um, I thought I knew quite a bit about TPEP and the Danielson framework, and I found out that um, as we went on, I didn't know as much. And one of the things that helped us the most you want to flip that? Oh. was uh, we decided as a leadership team, which consisted about 100% of our staff, because we all had a sense of urgency. We wanted to get out of focus. We wanted to help our kids. And so we developed a Danielson protocol walkthrough. And so during this uh, walkthrough, it became overwhelming because we had, we looked at all of the components on it, and we decided we'd take it and we decided that um, we'd look at the data that it gave us. So we looked at the weak areas that we had, and that's how we broke it down and started working on our weak areas. Um, so we use this protocol for uh, two different things. One, we collect data to see how the building does, and the other way that we use that is to improve instruction. And so. Medical Lake Middle School, we used to use the STAR protocol. I'm sure a lot of you use that before, too. And um, our teachers wanted feedback. It wasn't good enough just to use it for reflecting on their own teaching and their own learning. And so we developed our leadership team, developed a protocol. Um, again, it's non-judgmental, and it's basically asking questions and seeking to understand. And it's evolved as, it, um, as the process has gone over all well, three years of doing this where teachers are pretty comfortable. Everybody's involved, it's 100% participation. Um, other schools come in and observe us and go through around and um, teachers, I, I guess the best thing I can say is it starts with trust. They pretty much trust each other and trust what's going on in the building because they've worked with each other for quite a, a long time now. So in essence, we've done a lot of work around data collection as well as feedback, and those were two key pieces. It's driven um, the middle school's professional <laughs> development opportunities. Key uh, additionally was ensuring reflection, that our learning walks are about learning, but we also use it to learn from each other as well as understand what direction and focus we need to do. We're really all about, um, and you can see as you come to, when you come to our workshop, you'll see the data that we have around student engagement, student inquiry, and well as uh, self-assessment that we've collected throughout the time. But really our focus is, if we focus on student learning as the basis for informing effective instruction, then, as we all have, then all of our students will achieve. And that's our focus. And, and we will have uh, examples of our protocol as well as our debrief that our teachers go through when they um, get feedback um, and uh, some great information this afternoon. Thank you.